Okay, we're getting in some breaking news right now. According to top uh, naval sources, they've told India today that this data leak of the Scorpion submarine will not have much of an impact on India's entire project since the leak is from overseas. Defence Minister, however, will be probing India and the specific angles and will also submit a report to the Defence Minister shortly. But sources are suggesting that this leak could be a result of a business rivalry. So that is some very interesting bit of news that is coming in. We have Jugal Parohit who joins us for more on this. Jugal, in a way, in a sense, this is some relief. But why will it, uh, you know, not really impact the whole uh, defence project because this is very sensitive information that is now in public domain. Why is it not alarming? You're right, uh, Avantika. This is in fact the question, in fact the bigger worry uh, which I have ascertained after speaking to several authorities uh, in, in Delhi, in Bombay, in different departments of the Defence Ministry is this, that we do not know just how much has gone out and as long as you do not know how much has gone out, obviously you're not going to be in, in, a, in a position to judge whether it is harmful or it isn't harmful. So that's where it stands. The, the Indian Navy of course has already informed us in an official statement that a team comprising of experts has been constituted that is the team which will analyze all the data which is available remember till now the Australian media house has only put out about 15 20 odd pages on its website 22,400 is the actual amount of documents or pages if you wish which is out there already so it's not even uh, qualifying to be called as a fraction of that amount now the Indian Navy will of course have to get uh, in touch with the relevant authorities get in get a hold of those documents after analyzing is when they can say the fact is uh, and and that's what we know is that the Australian media has also said that different frequencies different speeds basically just how does the submarine hunt just how does the submarine operate and just how does the submarine communicate back to its base all of these details are in those 22,400 pages this means basically that since since 2011 is when this leak was reported mm. to have taken place by a former French uh, naval officer since 2011 I repeat for the last five years this information has been doing the rounds of several different authorities we are also mm -hmm. aware that it was it was uh, it was used by a Southeast Asian nation in fact okay. its Navy used it it was used for commercial uh, uh, you know secrets because these information this information is extremely valuable even on a commercial side apart from the strategic side okay. so this has changed a lot of hands now in those hands could be those from the intelligence of Pakistan right. from those of China and from other countries we do not know so that's where the matter stands it's an extremely serious aspect submariners veterans who have been speaking to call it the most alarming that they've ever heard uh, a, a submarine data right, or, or details on submarines being leaked and of course the bigger problem compounding it all is that we still do not know. Back to you, Avantika. Okay, just stay with me, Jogal. This is a massive data leak that has hit the Indian Navy, leaving its soon-to-be-commissioned submarines terrifyingly exposed and vulnerable. Okay, we have with us India Today's executive editor, Gaurav Savant, and we have with us also retired Commodore G.J. Singh, defense analyst. Let me come to you, Gaurav, first. I just heard, uh, you know, Shiv just giving out a sense of the kind of contents that has been leaked which includes the combat capabilities the submarines endurance and many other you know technical details of the submarine then why will this information not have uh, that kind of impact on the uh, you know submarine deal that india has engaged with france India desperately needs new submarines and when we talk about the Scorpions, they are one of the most potent stealth weapon platforms. Uh, it's so silent that the enemy doesn't know where it is in the waters. Of course, this does compromise, uh, uh, you know, the submarine in the sense that all its signatures are now out at what speed what sound does the submarine make what are the signature acoustic signatures how does it communicate to shore so all of that information is out in the public domain hmm. at the same time it's better to have a submarine than not have a submarine at all there will be changes and we've been speaking to some very senior officers both in the navy and in the ministry of defense and they've been telling us that whatever best can be done will be done uh, no knee-jerk reactions some of this information is being analyzed by the chief of the naval staff and the team uh, that has now been appointed so they will go through all the documents but remember 1987 when the Beaufort scandal broke 
400 guns had come in and then no more guns came and artillery modernization suffered from 1987 hmm. till date so the government doesn't want to repeat that situation submarines will come in equipment will come in the government will not let modernization suffer but whoever is responsible for this whether in India or overseas they will have to pay a price and what government sources are telling us considering information not just about submarines sold to India but also ships sold to Chile or amphibious assault ships sold to Russia those informations are also our information is also out in public domain it appears that the leak is from DCNS and the French government will inquire but Gaurav does that mean that you know the first submarine that is already ready it's going to be inducted later this year uh, the Kalvari which has also undergone extensive sea trials does that mean that uh, the Indian force and the government will use this information will realize the enormity of this leak and probably uh, you know along with the French uh, shipbuilding company work uh, on you know uh, some uh, some kind of a strategy when they're building those other five submarines will there be a change as far as the construction of those remaining five submarines are concerned well that may have to be done and perhaps will be done but at this point of time we were speaking to some uh, submariners who worked on this project uh, from its inception stage and they say one it appears to be prima facie it appears to be a serious compromise they will only know when they've gone through those 22,400 odd pages will they know the, ex the exact extent of the damage and the changes they need to make to their standard operating procedures but the submarine stays the modernization drive stays changes that may have to be made the French and government of India will think about it if there are penalties to be invoked France will uh, you know India and France will look into it but government's very clear and that is what my sources are saying they will not let the modernization drive get affected by this uh, let me come to you Commodore GJ Singh the last time I spoke to you you did mention about this being a, a catastrophe a significant compromise and how you know this entire project uh, that the Indian government uh, is uh, undergoing with the French uh, uh, represents and is a symbol of India's uh, you know muscle its might how serious really is this leak uh, going to be for the Indian Navy for India for our government you see it is very obvious that you have the information about the project incidentally this project is called project 75 has 22,400 pages revealing everything what uh, Shiva Roor and uh, God of Savant had just mentioned all those parameters it's the various depths on which it can go the electronic the infrared the you know magnetic the uh, uh, speeds the endurance all of these things have been revealed there's nothing left to you know uh, uh, to conceal now mm. and mind you all of these uh, parameters these in uh, these this information is actually aimed at improving the capability of a submarines to lie in wait underwater you see the ultimate weapon that we make uh, and this being the latest uh, generation of submarines uh, in fact the website of this company DCNS says that this is the latest generation of submarines one can ever contemplate think of speculate there is nothing above it now they all this information which comes to the domain uh, public domain there is nothing left uh, everything is open now and how much changes can we make because ultimately we have to have a submarine which can achieve improved uh, capabilities to lie in ambush to lie in wait and strike when the enemy's ships come incidentally a submarine is the most dreaded weapon out at sea hmm. but at the same time it is most hunted also mm -hmm. you have the most sophisticated sonars to hunt it down because this is scared this is this is you know when the ships we go out at, at right. sea on on the warships uh, the most uh, thing which scares us and worries us the presence of a submarine in that area because yes. the submarines are something as you were stealth weapons they are the ones who line a bush uh, like a thief or like you know something who just comes out of nowhere right so so this is something when you have all the information in the public domain yes. about a project 
which makes the uh, the strong arm sword of let me put it this way the sword of underwater capability when right. it comes to it is obviously a very catastrophic in my view it is very uh, you know significant it is going to make a very significant right, impact on the on the power of us under sea water let's go to jugal now jugal now the indian navy chief uh, admiral sunil lamba has already been asked in fact instructed to examine the nature of this uh, scorpion submarine leak but uh, it appears according to the indian navy that this data is from the year 2011 isn't it scary and even terrifying at the same point that uh, you know the construction of the remaining five submarines the undersea trials have been going on all this while uh, you know while everybody was kept in the dark and this information was out a long time back That's right Avantika as we last discussed this information is said to have been leaked in 2011 we are talking 5 years after this information went out of the place where it should be kept protected the second part 2011 is no really for india because at that time the chilean navy the malaysian navy they were already having their set of scorpion submarines a lot of performance parameters which are generally kept secret a lot of operational details which are generated by the performance of these chilean and malaysian submarines the same model which the indian navy is still building they were already out so it's no really whatsoever that this was in 2011 and we are talking five Five years hence. Yes. Uh, the fact is, and my sources in the Defence Ministry are telling me that India has not taken this well at all. India and France share a very strong relationship, a very close defence and security relationship. Uh, but this fact. that something which has taken place in 2011 something which the dcns the french government owned firm is is clarifying to the australian media is answering media okay. queries but is refusing to at least even intimate the indian side right. this has not gone down too well with the indian establishment in what okay. form does the india is take it up is is this going to snowball into something major we'll have to wait and watch but yes. this fact that the french side did not inform india of something as serious as this yes. is not been taken too well at all avantika okay all right jugal parohit uh, retired commodore gj singh and gorav savan thank you all for joining us